At this time, I'm pleased to yield two minutes to our whip, a mighty leader on American energy, Steve Scalise from Louisiana. The gentleman is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentlelady for yielding. And here we are, it's another week and another bill to try to divert attention away from what Joe Biden himself did to raise gas prices to the point where families can't even afford to drive to work, can't even afford to go to the grocery to pay 15, 20 percent more for goods because of Biden's inflation. But let's start from the beginning. Let me read you a quote from candidate Joe Biden. Quote, no more drilling on federal lands, no more drilling, including offshore. No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period, ends. That was Joe Biden, the candidate. Unfortunately, day one, he started doing just that, an assault on American energy. And what's been the result? Dramatically higher gas prices starting day one when he canceled the Keystone Pipeline. Wasn't just that pipeline, he canceled any new pipelines to move oil in America. He's not against all pipelines. He greenlighted Russia's pipeline, let them sell their oil to Europe, canceled ours. What else did he do? Well, let's just hit a few of the points that are all, by the way, not included in this bill. So no new leases on federal lands. In fact, just last week, amidst high gas prices, Biden shut down the Gulf of Mexico and Alaska, some of the richest reserves in the United States, making us more addicted to foreign oil. In fact, if anybody's going to be sued for gouging, it should be the gouger in chief, Joe Biden, who has created this problem. But this bill doesn't allow him to be sued. You can sue other people in this bill. You could sue your local gas station if you don't like the high price of gas, but you can't sue the person who actually did these things that have increased the price of gasoline, Joe Biden. Let's actually open up America again. Stop relying on foreign countries for our energy when we can make it here cleaner, better than anyone in the world, and lower gas prices and address this problem. This bill doesn't do it. We ought to bring up the bills that actually fix the problem. With that, I yield back the balance of my time.